Are you looking to replace an old Avago or Renko encoder? We've created a series of compatibility guides that walk you through finding the right encoder for you. In this video, we're going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use them to spec out a new encoder. If you're already on our website, those guides will appear below this video. If you're watching on YouTube, you can find a direct link to the compatibility guides in the video description. Let's get started. For the sake of this video, we're going to walk you through replacing an Avago module. If you're looking to replace an entire encoder, you can click on the timeline below. We'll have a different chapter for how to find the replacement for a complete encoder. The first thing you're going to need is a model number of the encoder you're replacing. A lot of times you can find that on the encoder cover or printed directly on the encoder module itself. So in this case, our encoder is the HEADS 9140. Also note that we see a C00 above the part number. If we take a look at our compatibility guides, you can see there it's a different guide for each series of encoder or module. Because we have a HEADS 9140, we'll click on the guide that starts with HEADS 9XXX module. Now that we're on the guide itself, we can either click on the drop down or scroll down the page to find the part number we're looking for. They're all in alphabetical order, so we find the 9140 section and then the C like Charlie 00. Once you click on your selection, you have the option to go directly to the configured product page where you can find pricing, data sheets, related products, and 3D models. Now, if you're replacing an entire encoder, the guide will look slightly different. Let's take a look at the HEDL 5000 guide. As you can see here, there are multiple options to select based on the encoder you are replacing. So we might have an HEDL 55, we'll say, Say it's a 5500, and we'll use the same C like Charlie. But here we have uh, some numbers to select, which would be listed on the uh, product you're attempting to replace. This would be their part number. But once you have your product fully configured, you find a link to the configure product page just like we saw on the guide from the module. And that's all there is to it. We tried to make this guide as easy as possible, but if you have any questions or need additional help, don't hesitate to let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching US Digital Encoder Support. Please subscribe to our channel for product updates, tutorials, and FAQs. If you need help, reach out to us in the comments below or by visiting usdigital.com support. If you found us here, check out our main YouTube channel at youtube.com usdigital.